Today, I'm going to talk about an aspect of life which touches us unknowingly. Human minds cannot see their loved ones suffering and fighting with death. In fact, the topic of death was received with great reservation and also regarded as a taboo subject by many. For example, Elizabeth Publer Ross published her seminal work called On Death and Dying in 1969 dealing exactly with the taboo subject of death. However, most of us like to talk about and embrace peaceful death for ourselves and our loved ones. Let me tell you a story. The story of Derek Humphrey, who was a British-born American journalist and activist who saw his wife fighting with a painful type of cancer for many days. It was a difficult sight indeed. After much discussion with his wife, one day he gave her a cup of coffee mixed with painkillers and sleeping pills. She drank it without much hesitation and passed away. Within a very short spell, Derek got married to Anne Rickett and took her help to write a book called Jean's Way, A Love Story to describe his first wife's suffering. In fact, the book became immensely popular and got adapted to a TV series called Is This The Day? In 1980, Derek moved to LA and found the Hemlock Society. This society educated thousands of dying or terminally ill people to achieve peaceful death and thereby advocating physician-assisted death or PAD. I personally find the name Hemlock very catchy, which is actually a poisonous herb given to the famous Greek philosopher Socrates. Socrates drank the poison to die. Coming back to the topic, with rightful assistance, Hemlock Society started growing steadily. Many years later, in 1991, Derek also wrote a book called Final Exit, which received a lot of controversy. Some people called it a guide to suicide, but became immensely popular once again. Over 2 million copies sold as e-books, hardback and paperback, and perhaps most of libraries will have it today. For a variety of social and political reasons, Hemlock Society ended in 2003, ultimately forming the Final Exit Network, an organization that still exists as of today. Derek firmly believed in the right to die and in his own words, he said that the right to choose to die when in advanced terminal or hopeless illness is the ultimate civil liberty. He won many awards throughout his life for his work, but two of them are worth mentioning like the Socrates Award and the World Federation of Right to Die Society's Lifetime Achievement Award. As we are talking, the subject of right to die has attracted many novelists and filmmakers and pretty much shook the entertainment industry. Some of the notable films on this subject are The Dark Victory, An Act of Murder, Million Dollar Baby, You Don't Know Jack, Lullaby, Guzarish, and as a Bengali, how can we forget Hemlock Society? Physician-assisted death has been legalized in many countries, but many are yet to take a decision. Death is a part of life, just as birth, but let's pray and embrace death peacefully, without pain, without suffering. Put your views and thoughts on right to die in our comment section and stay tuned to Ghosh Company for more videos in the future. See you soon. Bye for now.